Hey, it's Ronan Segal, your accordion teacher. Today, we're going to take a look at coming up with chords and coming up with melody over those chords. This is part of the Accordion Love Monthly Challenge. This is the May and June Monthly Challenge. Uh, I'm giving you a little bit longer. Uh, if you don't want to do this challenge alone, there's an entire community over on accordionlove.com uh, where we share our submissions uh, and you get feedback and you can also win some awesome prizes. With that out of the way, let me tell you about this month's challenge. Um, let's start with coming up with chords. I want you to come up with two or three chords. Again, beginner, intermediate, advanced players, you could do this challenge differently. Let me show you some ideas on how to do this challenge. We'll start off with the C chord. We'll choose a major. So our first chord is C major. Next, I want you to choose another chord. Beginner players and intermediate players, choose a chord that's quite close to the C. I'm looking at F, I'm looking at G, I'm looking all the way to B flat and all the way to D. So again, with C in the middle, we can go down to and up to. So let's choose the chord that's right next to the C. I'm going up towards my chin, that's a G. Let's choose a minor. So we'll do a C major to a G minor. And let's keep going up to that D minor. That's the first part of the challenge. Come up with a chord progression. Anytime we have more than one chord, it's a chord progression. Two to three chords. And let's make it musical. Sit down and explore it. I'm going to do a waltz because I know my oompapas. And I'm going to figure out some timing. Beginner players, try and make it smooth. Advanced players, try and play around with the timing. Here's what I'm going to come up with. C major, G minor. D minor, and I'm going to sit on this for four. C major, G minor, D minor. The reason I'm going for my headphones is the next step really helps to, to sit with this rhythm and sit with these chords. Part of this challenge is to feel chord changes. So what I'm going to do you could record yourself with a cell phone. I have a loop pedal down here. I'm going to record this loop. One, two, three, one, two, three. Good. There's our C major to G minor to D minor. And it's going to loop at the end. And what I... <clears throat> What I'm starting to do is to move my body to it. That's what these chord changes feel like. Da da. Might start humming or singing. Da da. Da da. I'm gonna pause because the next part of the challenge will be to come up with a melody. I have an entire uh, workshop that we did on how to come up with melodies. The really quick 30 second version of it is choose notes from the chords. Every note is, every chord is made up of three notes. The C major, the G minor, and the D minor. And all we need to do is play those notes over the chords in any pattern that we choose. And that's what I'm going to do right now. Again, I'm feeling it out. Ta da, ta da. I'm going to try and play that. Ta da. There it is. More advanced players. I'm playing the triad. Advanced players come up with a melody. Come up with multi fingered melodies.
I'll pause there. So again, we came up with a series of three chords. These ones were really closely connected. I just went up towards my chin with a C, a G, and a D. I chose arbitrarily major, minor, minor. You could play with your own three chords. And then I came up with a melody based on the notes of those chords. And I made it an umpapa. Let's come up with another one just for another example. I'm gonna clear my loop. It's gonna play for a second. Let's choose, let's start with a C, but this time with a C minor. Let's, again, staying within this range, let's go up to a G major this time. Let's go down to a B flat. So again, I'm playing, I'm not going from a C to an F sharp, not going from a C to an E. I'm staying plus or minus to up or down. Let's record a C major. One, two, three, I'm gonna do the same um pa pa. One, two, three. Oh, we said C minor. Sorry, let me clear that. We said C minor, G major, B flat. One, so it's gonna be C minor, G major, B flat. Is that my B flat? Yes, one, two, three. C minor, G major, B flat. And again, I'm gonna sit with this, see if my body moves a certain way. Is there tension? I felt a bit of tension and a bit of resolution. And I'm gonna play the notes from the chord Again, C minor, G, C minor. I don't like that very much, but that's okay. I like that. So, your entry for the monthly challenge will be coming up with two or three chords together. My C minor, G major, B flat. This is more advanced. Advanced players, and I'll, I'll tell you why we're doing this. Advanced players, feel free to come up with some chords that don't go together uh, well. C major to F sharp. Does that work together? Sure, I'm, I'm sure you can come up with something really, really cool. Why are we doing this? Again, monthly challenges are trying to get you to, to the accordion left principles. There is no right or wrong answer. You can come up with a chord change that's just C to G, C to G. A few reasons. I want you to feel what chord changes feel like. What do chord changes feel like? Again, that C minor to the G major. We see it in music a lot. Is it creating tension? Does it make you do this? A C major to an F minor, does it make you slump? So again, I'm going not for theory, not that that's a minor four. I want you to feel what that chord change feels like. Eventually we're starting to introduce our melody uh, into it. So is it a rising melody from that minor one to the five, from that C minor to the G major? <laughs> Yeah, there's a bit of tension from that C major to the F minor. Is there a resolution? In which case, does it drop? Maybe. Maybe there are certain chords that go together really well and invoke a feeling. I want you to start to become familiar with them. Whether you're a beginner player or an advanced player, 
become familiar with with building tension, resolving tension. What chords go together well? C major to D minor. Sure, D minor to B minor. Give it a try, right? We're exploring chords and the feelings that they invoke. The other real world real world application is oftentimes we're in a song circle, a guitar player's playing, there's another musician, and you're just jamming, and someone will choose two or three chords, or you'll be asked to choose two or three chords. I want you to become familiar with those chords that feel good to you. You'll say, let's go from a C to a G minor to a D minor, the chords that we just played. Because you've played those chords already, you know that there are no surprises. You know the pathways. You know that certain chord voicings sound really good. Certain chords with that uh, C major, G minor to D minor. Or Right? And what I was demonstrating there was another principle from Accordion Love, which is we can choose any rhythm that we want. Uh, more advanced players, we're not, con we're not constrained to that um, pa, um, pa, um, pa. Because there's no right way to do it, you could play it at your tempo. You could do C major, G minor, stay on the G minor as long as you want and maybe end on a really quick D minor hit. So again, there's no right or wrong way to, to play a song. Play it as a tarantella, a C minor to G major to B flat. G major B E flat right so again lots of different ways of exploring and again we're not going off sheet music the nice thing is it's you and your instrument that's what I'd love to see for the May and June monthly challenge over in the accordion love forums I encourage you to check it out you don't have to be a member to to look at all the contributions and historical ones as well you do have to be an accordion love member but I encourage you to try our free three-day trial and uh, and submit your submission uh, your entry I hope to see you there let me know if you have any questions thank you